our communities can be proud of the excellent services provided at the Royal Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole hospitals. And as a community, we need to ensure that we can continue to provide first-class quality care and invest for the future. That's why the two NHS trusts have decided to prepare a business plan to merge. What we're trying to do is really combine the best of the best of both organisations. The two hospitals working together will be much stronger than the two hospitals working separately. We're stepping up a, a gear and we're aiming to be the best that we can be. And we felt that by bringing the two organisations together in a formal merger would actually provide the most uh, exciting opportunity for healthcare in the local area for, for many years. In this short film we'll hear from trust leaders and local health professionals give you an overview of what is proposed and tell you how you can share your views. Together we can help plan for a healthy future. Your two NHS trusts are preparing a business plan to merge. The decision on whether this goes ahead will be taken by the regulator monitor. But the boards of the two trusts believe it's the right move for our communities to meet the challenges ahead. We're both very proud of our reputations as providing quality and safe patient care, but we feel given the environment we're working in, looking to the future, we can provide a really strong uh, foundation for healthcare services in this area by merging. From the outset, the two boards of the hospitals were clear that the overriding reason why we should merge the two hospitals should be based on what was in the interests of local people. We all recognise the significant challenges facing the NHS and us locally and we believe that by bringing the two organisations together we have a much better opportunity and much better and stronger chance to ensure that we can continue to sustain and deliver high quality services over the coming years. We had a careful review of some of the challenges that lie ahead for both hospitals and partly they relate to trying to provide more care um, that is consultant delivered 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Part of the challenges relate to moving care out of hospital and some of the challenges pertain to some of the financial uh, savings that we've got to achieve over the next five years. The two trusts have been discussing this important decision for some time, making sure that it would deliver benefits for local people. One of the benefits of the merger is the creation of more centres of excellence and we're really looking forward to developing further our cardiac care, our cancer care into the future and using the really high calibre, very talented staff that we've got to provide really world leading care for the local population. By merging I think that the two hospitals will be in a much stronger position to develop new services which will enable patients locally to receive services locally which currently they have to travel to Southampton, London, uh, Bristol and further afield. We will see uh, through the improved joint working between the two organisations not only greater efficiencies and therefore better for the taxpayer but actually improvements in the quality of the patient experience. And that is the intention behind Merger, to create very, very strong clinical centres of excellence to ensure that we give patients a very reassuring service and that they can come here, get the very best treatment and then go home as soon as possible uh, feeling a lot better. What do some of the clinical staff think? I think the proposed merger is a great idea. We've been working with Paul Hospital for some time now and actually the proposed merger gives us a great opportunity to bring together the skills, expertise and innovation of both organisations to really influence the quality of patient care. Anaesthetics is an area where we already work very closely across Poole and Bournemouth. Um, we have done for many years. Um, but what this pro uh, prospect of merging uh, offers us is the, is the opportunity to improve on that uh, and particularly in the area of uh, emergency care. The boards of the two trusts are engaging with partners across the health community. The government's proposed changes mean that we as GPs are going to take responsibility for the budget to fund care for our patients. The proposed merger of the two local hospital trusts presents a great many opportunities to improve that care. And what does this proposed merger mean for you as a patient? 
I would wish to reassure our patients. They currently experience an absolutely first-class standard of care. And going forward, we will not be satisfied unless we deliver what we're doing at the moment and even better services. Bringing both skills together will also make us stronger and as an organisation we will be vibrant and strong for the future. You will still enjoy the services that you always have, the hospitals will still remain and through this merger we will be able to provide even better services. We are consulting the public on aspects of this important proposal until April the 25th. So how can you help? What we're looking for as part of this public consultation are views on how we manage the new organisation going forwards, what the name is of the new organisation, and we're really keen to hear from people about what they're looking for. Public meetings are being held across the region, and you can also share your views online, by email and by post. Let us know your views, and together we can prepare for a healthy future.